Gee, nice strap, so it can be held in place. So I added the extra bag to put this in because I don't have storage. Yeah. Oh, for that. Star of the show. I see that is still in the frame. Seems like it did fall a bit. But that's still okay. yellow by default and there is some extra rings in there this is a force channel so oh, there will be four of these USB cable Declaration of Conformity. So this is its certificate of calibration. So got a manual and let's take out the actual scope. Silica gel. I use this with my 3D printers to put it in the bags with the filament to keep the filament dry. So there's the scope. There's two legs in front, so you can put it at an angle, down. Hey, let's turn it on. Okay, uh, I have the scope plugged in. I'm going to take out just one probe. Now, some information on it. With some rings. We'll keep the first probe as the yellow one. As a PNC connector on this side. And I think this is a different tip. Let's take this out of the way. I'm not going to need that right now. to make some space. I need to figure out the space so this is not going to be the final setup. Um, but yeah, let's take that off. And then let's turn it on.
that is pretty cool so it does like a similar to a pc does a post so first i want to calibrate it i want to go to quick start which is 11. yes this is what i want to do they call it pro compensation Maybe I'll do all the probes. I'm going to give them their colors immediately. Let's take off that. Come on. This is just so you know where they're plugged in. So you see yellow, 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 and then yellow. <laughs> So you have the same color everywhere and that will also be the color of the line there. All oscilloscope probes should be properly compensated before their first use with the oscilloscope. A non-compensated or inadequately compensated probe may cause inaccurate measurements. The following steps illustrate the probe compensation procedure. Use the probe to connect the channel 1 input terminal and compensate signal input terminal D. Oh. uses the connector at the back so I'm guessing wait what I don't understand so use the probe to connect the channel 1 input terminal and the compensation signal output terminal D on the front panel Oh, D on the front panel, that's this thing. Connect the ground alligator crypt to the ground terminal. Okay, it is actually marked fairly clearly. So this side is ground, I'm guessing that side's the input. So we'll do this one first. Connect that one to ground there and then connect this one to the other connection Ooh, we can see a signal there check the displayed waveforms and compare them to the following figure undercompensated compensated overcompensated use the non-metallic flathead screwdriver to adjust the low frequency it has a leading edge which according to this, it's overcompensated. Ah, you can see it move. There we go. Looks like a nice flat line. on and auto setup continue But let's do that. Then wait, I 
should have overcompensated. So that's the oscilloscope. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's helped me now figure the circuit out. I'll go in the next video, I'll go into detail on how it did that, why this was so interesting and why the circuit actually triggered me buying this. Yeah, uh, if you like the video, click the like button, please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one where we'll look at this interesting thing.